message is the state of sin. The state of sin, sin sinks, and the result is death. The Bible against the poison of sin is the precious blood of Jesus Christ. The Bible tells us in 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 56 to 57. The state of death is sin. The power of sin is the law. But thanks be to God who give us victory to our Lord Jesus Christ. Many people today are scared of death. Yeah. However, in God they say they say, without any reservation, most are ignorant of the link between sin and death. Apostle Paul explained to us in 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 56. He says, the state of death is sin. The power of sin is the law. With this word, it reminds us of two points. The first that we are open into sin. The second point is that sin reminds us the part of us until they will die. The Bible tells us Romans chapter 6 verse 23 that the wages of sin is dead. Why is it that many people today plunge into sin? Leverage even without aware of the total, the consequences that come with sin. It is internal separation from the living God. Yes, sin is flowing. Yes, sin is exercising. Yes, sin arose and the sins are grossity. But sin treats us, but ultimately sin kills us. The Bible record in Genesis chapter 3 verse 6, how sin entered into the world. The woman conceived, she saw that the tree was painful and the food looked delicious. She wanted the wisdom that we give to her. So she took some of the eat and gave to her husband who were there too with her. He also ate. So Adam told if excuse me, God told Adam about the consequences of eating that forbidden fruit. For Satan deceived them and made him to eat for that forbidden fruit. And we know that through that sin entered to the world because the Bible tells us in Romans chapter 5, verse 12, that through one man, speaking about Adam, through him sin entered to the world and then sin passed to all mankind because all have sinned. For Satan deceived them. Like many of us today, the good heart of a man became tarnished, and the special there was the result. But then on the heart of a man become desperately wicked beyond control. The Bible tells us in Genesis 6, verse 5. Like the state of the scorpion, Scott Adam and Eve, they were special separated from God. See through in the state of death. And when you follow the desires of your sinful nation, the result is very clear. The Bible says in Galatians chapter 5, verse 19 to 21. What is the rest of the flesh? When you follow your flesh, the Bible says the results are very clear. Number one, the list, sexual immorality, impurity, lustful pressures, adultery, sorcery, hostility, worry, jealousy, outbursts of anger, selfish ambition, decision, division, envy. Drunkenness, white parties, and other things like this. Apostle Paul said, I remind you, I told you before, that those who indulge themselves in this kind of lifestyle will not inherit the kingdom of God. Amen. That is the ultimate priority of sin. Not only that it is separated from God physically, spiritually, but ultimately, internally. Sin appears beautiful and sweet, but the end is deadly. Momentary pressures driven from sin. It's not what the wages it pays in hell. Sin kills, my dear friends. Satan wants you dead, but just write to us in John chapter 10, verse 10 a. The thief speaking about the Satan coming not but to steal and to kill and to destroy. There is a wonderful solution to the problem of sin. It is simple, free, ready, available for you today. That solution is Jesus Christ. Amen. For the Bible says. In Romans chapter 6, verse 23, for the wages of sin is dead, but what they but free, keep of eternal life, he took by Jesus our Lord. It is a freedom from the sin of sin and special death. It's only by Jesus Christ who can receive that free gift and who can receive that freedom today. Jesus Christ tell us what the Bible says in John chapter 1, verse 12. But to all who believe in him, I said to him, what this? He gave them the right to be called the children of God. This one I'm more emphasized in Romans chapter 10, verse 9. 
The Bible says, if you confess with your mouth that Jesus Christ is Lord, and believe in your heart that God is saved from death, you shall be saved. The solution is simple as A, B, C, D. A, accept Jesus Christ as Lord. B, believe in Him with all your heart. C, confess Him as Lord. D, devote your life to Him. My dear friends, listen to the Holy Spirit who is even coming right now to draw you to our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Do not pass the night. Do not say tomorrow. When the Holy Spirit of God get attention, you have to come to the Lord Jesus Christ. Open your heart to Him and receive Him today as your Lord and personal Savior. And I guarantee you, He will save you for all eternity. All you have to say in your heart right now, Dear Lord Jesus, I said that the sinner, I believe that you, you died for my sins on the cross and you wrote that God on the third day. Today I ask you forgiveness of sins and I believe that you are forgiving me. Today I make you to be the Lord and personal servant for my life. In your name I pray. Amen. I guarantee you, my dear friend, Jesus Christ will save all eternity. Remember, bless in the mighty name of Jesus. Jesus Christ is Lord. Hallelujah.